Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop today. I am working on continuing to work on the red scooter. Once I got it running, um, I got pretty uh, enthusiastic about getting it all put back together. I'm still waiting on the muffler to come back from the chrome shop. It's kind of what happens when you get work done for free. You have to wait sometimes. Over here I've got some uh, dining chairs that I've been working on and I may or may not do a series on those. It's just a lot of film and a lot of work, a lot of work to uh, get the video edited. So in the meantime, what I've done is um, I've got the chain installed. Yeah, I don't think all this was installed, but I got the side covers on and the chair, the the seat, which no big deal. Um, same thing with the mirrors. Got those put on. Got my little front decorative piece put on here. Um, I I aligned the wheels and I got everything all straight on this guy and then I aired up the tire. I've got a front tire that I still need to install. So right now what I'm doing is uh, working on brackets and covers. So I had to buy, I bought this little bushing at the local hardware store because when I compare to the blue one, there appears to be some type of a bushing that acts as a standoff for the muffler bracket. So if you look on the blue one here, you see this black bracket um, that the muffler attaches to. So let me show you the muffler, bra muffler bracket that I got with this guy. So the muffler bracket that came with this scooter had something going on with that hole there. It was all chewed up. It looked like it had been drilled out. So what I ended up doing was I took a step drill bit and put it in my drill and I drilled it out. And the next step is going to be for me to press in this bushing into the hole that I drilled out to create the right size hole for that swing arm bolt that comes out on that scooter. So I'm going to give it a shot with the vise. We'll see how that turns out. Almost there, I just need to get something behind this just so my vise can push it through the rest of the way. Maybe a washer or something. I'm going to use this nut to help seat this bushing. It should make it flush. Call that good. We'll see how that hangs on the scooter now. Alright, so here's the spacer. Here's the bushing. And then I got a nylock lock nut. It's not 
you know, it's not the same thing that that um, Honda offered, but I couldn't find anything that would match. And it looks like this one might not match either. Uh, the thread might be off. All right, well, this uh, appears to be a coarse thread, and that is a fine thread. So this will still have to wait. No big hurry because I'm waiting on my muffler. But thought I was gonna make some progress today. I can't really take this out and ride it without a nut on here because this holds the whole swing arm assembly to the bike. And if it came out, you know, you can figure out how terrible that would be. Tomorrow. Well, 10 millimeter hardware apparently comes in three different thread pitches. So I bought the other two remaining. The one that I had was a 1.5. And then they also make it in 1.25, which is what this is, and a 1.0. And I'm guessing that's kind of like a TPI, or I guess threads per millimeter. I'm not sure. I'm sure a lot of you out there do know that. I'm actually going to not install the bracket as of right now because I'm waiting for that muffler. So, but I want this guy. I want this swing arm bolt to stay in place. So I'm putting a lock washer down, and I'm going to go ahead and tighten this nut on top of that. Kickstarter out of the way. At least now I can just ride it around without the muffler, and like I said, without worrying about losing that bolt. I got my Shipping notification for all the other parts that I'm waiting for. So once those come in, I'll be bolting everything on. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching these videos. These types of videos are kind of new for me. And I'm working my way through figuring out how exactly I want to film them and present them to you guys. But the idea is just throw together some quick videos to fill in the gaps between my bigger videos. And in the meantime, you can kind of see the journey that I take from kind of having a, a bucket full of parts and to get a final product here put together. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Just let me know what you think. All feedback is welcome. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.